Yeah, yeah, yeah. You recognize the voice by now, you know. <laughs> yo, yo, it's Clement Marfo. Yeah. Nemesis, yeah. Marfo Media, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I always say, and I still say, N to the E M E S I S, and like, um, it's that kind of an alter ego. I remember Nemesis was the type of guy that was, you know, just had that rego mentality. He would just say everything on top of his head. But now I'm Clement Marfo, I'm more in a sense where I'm more composed, I'm mature. Um, I've grown up, I've learned from experiences. I remember when I was in uh, the Daily Mirror, we performed at Hackney Empire and um, had Nemesis there performing at Hackney Empire. And my, I showed my mum, I was like, yeah, look, 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 I'm in the Daily Mirror. And she was just like, who? Who's Nemesis? And I was just like, me, me, I'm Nemesis. And um, she was like, I didn't name you that. It was a nickname from my friends. And she just basically said, I named you Clement. I want to see Clement Marfo there. For those who know me, I started on this project called Fresh Starts. You don't, you don't remember that Fresh Starts, yeah? And I put it on iTunes independently, man, and it did well, I'm not gonna lie. It was independent, we did our thing. And I want you to just, you know, go into your zone and remember that each day is a fresh start. My name's Clement Marfo, nice to meet you. How, How do you do? Do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I was, I'm 87's baby. So in the 90s, it was, I was all popping off. The Fugees, I grew up listening to the Fugees. Uh, even Phil Collins, Annie Lennox. In the early years of school, high school, I remember in the school playground. And you know, everybody wanted to just spit in a sense where they just wanted to show off their lyrical skills. I started to get a lot of confidence, you know? From there, I realized this is something I want to do. Just starting up from there, just recording little demos, recording little stuff. Sent them out, either by um, MSN, you know, sending out to the friends. And then, you know, from there, it just started to pick up. And I just wanted to kind of take it more seriously because people was like, I want to hear more of your stuff. And then I thought, you know what, this is more of a, a sort of, it's, it's, coming, it's becoming more of a hobby. But I actually started to feel that, you know, I was getting somewhere and it picked up from there. Time to survive. Yes, I've been up, then I've been down. Dust my shoulder, pick up myself up again. Eliminate the pack of friends. Surprise, surprise. Yes, yes, who's back again? Is that the best you are? Freeze the frame, my downfall. I bet you are. Keep back and see how vex you are. Now look, man, it's what it invested for. Let's go. You sign with a producer who has a deal with the label. You see the world, you have a great time, you make a bit of money and then you have to decide what you're going to do for the rest of your life. The other alternative is that you're in music because you love playing music and you will do anything to play your music. So you go out, you get yourself a part-time job that enables you to live and pay your rent and you carry on playing your music and you hope the music industry catches up with you. I love it, I love it. It's more than a full-time job, you know, because I remember when I did part-time and it was hard to balance to do music, but now I'm doing this full-time. Every day, you know, either going to the studio, recording new tracks, songwriting, probably gigs, having meetings. It's busy, you know. My name is Gavin. My name is Luke. We both represent Clement Marfo and The Front Line. We both kind of work together to try and get gigs, to try and get everyone informed, rehearsals, just basically try and get everyone together, try and pick up the vibe, and um, hopefully take people forward. Now, I've been with Clement now for two years working with him, and uh, there's a lot of things in the pipeline. You know, the energy was there. I'm always a performer, I love to perform, but the backing track sometimes, you know, didn't really give me that full energy to connect with. So I thought, no, nah, I like band. I thought um, I need to look out for a band and you know it happens that God made this happen, you know what I mean? I met up with Dion through a friend and we made it happen. And you know what? It's a good thing I'm with the band, I've got to say man, it's a real honour that I'm working with the band right now. Make some noise for the band man. From my experience, the ones that get on are those who are focused and will carry on and have total belief in themselves. When I'm on stage, like, it's action time, you know, I just want to really enjoy it and make sure that the audience enjoys it. And yeah, deep down, that's, that's what I think is the feelings, the gut feeling. When you feel good inside, you know it's good.
and when I do music, I got there's a freedom inside which kind of inspires me to continue. Clement, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a funny guy. I did a show for John Jr. Clement and Luke and a few other people from their group, they were watching the show and they were just impressed with the collection and the colours and the vibe. So Luke got in contact with me and asked if we did um, some endorsements with some music artists and we do, we work with a lot of music artists at the moment. I think um, branded entertainment is the way forward. Mr. Marfo's favourite. <laughs> It's the last track. Let's enjoy ourselves. Everybody get in the vibe. We're gonna enjoy ourselves now, yeah? Hey, hey, nice to meet you. How do you do? Can I buy you a drink? Something strong and smooth. A six for your body, which satisfies you. A little bit of cola, whole lot of Malibu. Love your whole vibe, love your attitude. Your sex appeal seems so natural. Give me a minute to when I was to talk to you. You look so seductive and approachable. Fingers crossed you ain't occupied. Trying to get it hard to find words to describe. Love your whole aura, love your curves. Taking a glance at you, I'm lots of words. I ain't the usual type, do the usual thing. Let's want to turn off the lights, end of the ring. I'm just playing around. Sometimes I think loud on my head, my class. Give me 10 minutes and I'll have your number. Give me 10 minutes and I'll have your number. Give me 10 minutes and I'll have your number. You got to work harder than that to get me. You got to work Two was the best gig we've played yet, I think. The venue, it's a proper venue. I just loved it, it was so good. So. This is just a stepping stone for us to keep on getting higher. So yeah, it was, good. It was a good look tonight. You know what I mean? It's big. I'm excited, I'm smiling. Thank you very much. I really want to just, you know, tour around all, all around the world. I would love to, you know. That's what I love. I love traveling. I would love to just go to places like Asia, definitely go to Africa, you know, because I know inspiring songs like Hollywood or Fresh Starts, they would love it, you know what I mean? Just something that they can actually say, you know, there's somebody that's come from an African background, he lives in London, someone that's got the same background as trying to make it somewhere in Western society. and. I think that's where I am. And I believe the UK got something to shout about. I ain't scared. I'm stronger than the dog. <laughs> Nobody plans to make more money than me, more money to feed. Ain't no bro rice and chicken about the show with green peas. The more higher the sales, the more higher the fees. The more loyal the fans, the more likely to be one of the greatest MCs to breathe see me. I keep it humble and passionate. Hundred of CD stacked to my backpack. Wave the flag, believe in that fact. Believe to see Clement Marvel in person. Believe to see my album stocked in stores by HMVs a virgin. Am I hip hop, grime or urban? Is this mainstream or underground? I'm so real, trying to earn the pounds. You kid, I won't let you down. Support and throw out the nation if you feel